what the narcissist doesn't want you to find out. The narcissist is attracted to you because of your qualities and virtues. For your quality of doing what is right and avoiding what is wrong. It's impressive and attractive to them. They want to be around that. But they want you to hand your qualities and virtues over to them so that they can have your power and strength. Because it makes them feel good to get that from a powerful person. It fuels them. It gives them life. So they have to find a way to get you to give it to them. But they can't do that the right way. Because they already know they're not deserving of your power. They know that they haven't done the work to earn it. So they have to trick you. By preparing you and training you for the purpose of being abused. Because the abuse strips away your power. Until they can capture and confine you. When you run into a narcissist, they will immediately become oppositional to you. They will become resisting and combating. They will refuse to obey instructions and do what you want them to do. They will oppose and confront rather than discuss. They will refuse to accept or be changed by you because they will experience a frequent and ongoing pattern of anger, irritability, arguing and defiance towards you. They will engage in proud and determined opposition against your talents and skills, against everything that makes you a wonderful person. They will become oppositional to all of that because they have to do that to break you down. When the narcissist becomes oppositional to your confidence in yourself, it makes you doubt yourself. It makes you uncertain about your qualities and abilities. It makes you insecure. And they do this consciously and intentionally so that they can lock you under their control. Because when you doubt yourself, it makes you lose confidence in your worth and abilities. It changes your opinions and beliefs about yourself. Narcissists are predators. They know how to affect you. They know how to get under your skin. Because they've learned you. They've studied you. They know what makes you tick. And no human being is impossible to understand. Everyone has their limits. Everyone has their own threshold for pain or discomfort. But the narcissist will attack your good qualities. They will attack the things that you are confident in. That is where they have to attack first. Because the things you are confident in are going to be the greatest opposition to them controlling you. If you refuse to be pushed back on what you believe in and you stand strong in knowing who you are, they can't break down someone like that so easily. It's more difficult for them to capture that type of person. So they have to work extra hard to harm your good reputation. To show you to be undeserving of trust and belief. To dishonor you and cause people to stop respecting you and believing in your ideas on things that should be completely obvious. Things that should be easily perceived and understood. They have to defame you. They have to make you think it's not true. They have to make you doubt yourself. They have to go against whatever you believe in. Even if it's just a sport team. They have to like the opposite team. 
because they always have to be in opposition to you. They can never agree with you on anything. But then they will support you with things that you're not interested in. Things that you have no desire for. They will treat these things in a way that is kind or helpful. They will support you with those type of things. Things are irrelevant to who you are as a person. So that it slowly creates a character that is contrary to what is usual and expected of you. It reverses your success and achievements. Because you've been misguided. You've been led down the wrong path. To where you're now showing faulty judgement and reasoning. Because you've been given information and beliefs that are wrong. So now you don't even have the confidence in what you worked so hard to build on. Which made you who you are in the first place. And this is the main thing you need to understand. If there is only one section of my content you should watch. This is it. Because why did they pick you in the first place? If they don't like all of these things about you, why did they choose you? That is evidence that they are trying to manipulate you into being their next victim. They are trying to pressurize you into adopting radically different beliefs. And they're using systematic and forcible means. They're making you believe things about yourself, other people and the world around you. By repeatedly telling you that it is true. And preventing any other information from reaching you. Which is why you only ever hear their side of the story. You never speak to anyone that knows them about the situation. Because then you would get a different side of the story. You would receive a different version of events. And then things would start to make sense. But they don't want things to make sense to you. That's why they lie to you. That's why they gaslight you. Because they don't really care about you. They don't care if you're confused. They don't care about your health. As long as you can still supply them with what they need but while doubting the value and importance of the very things you're giving to them. Because they don't like it when you display your intelligence. They don't like it when you display your qualities and virtues and how positive an attitude and full of energy and new ideas you are. It has a powerful effect on them, but not in a good way. Because they're weak. They're lacking the power to perform. They're not able to accomplish or fulfill an action, task or function. They're lacking the power to make things happen for you. So the more powerful, intelligent and effective you are, it frightens them. It causes them to feel a lack of confidence in themselves. Because it makes them feel inferior to you. It makes them feel like they're lacking the quality and quantity required. It makes them feel insufficient for a purpose, as though they're unable to deal with a situation or with life. Because while they may want to receive this wonderful person that you are, they don't want to give you the compliments and praise that you deserve. Because otherwise you would start to see that they don't have anything to offer you. They're weak and ineffective. And you're giving your power away to them. Which is why when you run into a narcissist. They will immediately downplay everything you're doing. They will act like it's nothing special. They will act like it isn't a big deal. They will make it appear less important than it really is. And they will exaggerate the things that other people are doing. They will act like other people are better than you. 
and they're doing that because they're envious and jealous of you. They hate you. Because they can't stand that you're better and more successful than they are. They admire and respect power. But they don't like the idea of that same power that you possess to be used on them. They don't want you to start digging off in their ass with your power. They don't want you to treat them the way they treat you. They don't want you to do that. Because that would mean that you could blow them to pieces. You could completely annihilate them. So they have to break you down. They have to tame you. They have to keep you under their control. Without allowing you to think for yourself and make your own choices and decisions. Without allowing you to do what you want to do. So that you can't exist in that power of who you really are. Of everything you worked so hard to build and establish. They don't want you to do that. Because you would naturally be in a position of power and authority over them. But they want to be superior to you. Because that's how they receive a constant supply of attention and admiration. They don't want you to display your power and strength. They don't want you to display your intelligence. They don't want you to think about things in a logical and sensible way. They hate that. Because it gives you power over them. Which they see as a threat to their control over you. And this is what they don't want you to find out. Because the reason why they end up ghosting you. The reason why they suddenly disappear. And they cut contact with you. Is because they realize that you've realized your power over them. The very thing that they try to deprive you of and use you for. To help them to accomplish something. They've started to see that. You're waking up. You're no longer under my spell. You're realizing that I'm not worth anything. I'm just talking nonsense. Bullshit. And I don't have any power to do anything. I just tricked you. I manipulated you and used tactics to make you think you're less than who you really are. And this is what they do. They use manipulative tactics and brainwashing techniques to make you feel small. To make you feel like you're not as great as you actually are. You just need to remember the work that you put in. You need to remember everything you did for them. You need to remember everything you did that made you who you are. You are a strong and powerful person. And you know what you had to do. What you had to go through to get to that point. And they know it too. But they cannot acknowledge it. They cannot accept or admit the truth and existence of it. They cannot accept the importance and quality of it. They cannot give you recognition. They cannot give you your props. They cannot give you what you deserve. Because if they were to do that. They would be allowing you to have your power and authority over them. Which wouldn't be any good to them. It wouldn't be of any use. Because they're weak and ineffective. They don't have anything. Which is why they have to break you down mentally. They have to pull you down to their level. To make you think that you are equal to them.
but you are not equal to them. You're greater than them. And they know it. They're fully aware of it. And this is what they don't want you to find out. But it's why they have to attack you. It's why they always have to argue with you. It's why they're so oppositional. It's why they can't agree with you on anything. It's why they can't give you recognition. It's why they can't acknowledge your worth and importance. This is the game. They don't want you to wake up and recognize your power and greatness over them, which is why they always have to tear you down. It's why they're so oppositional to you. They know exactly what they're doing. It's intentional behavior. They're deliberately resisting you. They're deliberately refusing to be affected by you. They're deliberately not giving you the credit that you deserve for everything that you worked so hard to become. And instead they're going out of their way to make it appear less important than it really is. They're trying to make you doubt it. They're trying to make you think that it isn't special. It's not a big deal. They're comparing you to other people. They're comparing you to other situations. Instead of just giving you the credit that you deserve. Because they're toxic people. They're narcissists. Or at the very least they feel inferior to you. Because there's no need to tear anyone down. We should let people be who they are. If they worked hard to accomplish something, you should show approval and praise. You should congratulate them. There's no need to tear them down because you feel inferior to them. But this is what narcissists do. They have to do that to keep you under their control. But you need to wake up and realize that you are special. You deserve to be where you are in life. After everything you went through. After all of the suffering and the trials and tribulations that you had to endure. After everything that you have accomplished. You are productive, efficient and effective. You make things happen. You made things happen for them. And you need to realize that. You need to remember everything you had to go through that made you who you are. Don't let them tear you down. Don't let them make you forget what it took for you to get where you are. They're only doing that because they're envious and jealous. That's why they're so oppositional to you. Which is why whenever you see someone who is always against you rather than being in your corner rather than being on your side and supporting your growth and development you need to cut them off because they're not going to be any good for you they're going to ruin everything that you've worked so hard to become because they're going to go against it they're not going to encourage or support your development. So anything that you've established before being with them is going to fall apart. It's going to die out without the necessary support and encouragement that it needs to survive. 
because they're going to make you lack confidence. You're going to lose your judgment. So if you see someone who is always trying to prove you wrong and they're causing people to stop respecting you or believing in your ideas, they have a hidden agenda and it's not going to be good for you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.